Hello everyone, welcome to Augmentech. It's great to see you back. Now we'll study how to create schedules. Schedules are very important part of any HVAC system because the cooling and heating load requirements for the conditioned space may be dependent on many factors. For example, let's say for an office space, the number of people present at any given point of time may vary anywhere between 0 to 100 percent. So depending upon the number of occupants, the HVAC system is supposed to perform. Also, there may be many lights used in the office. Out of all these lights, some might be working at any given point of time and some are switched off. By defining schedules, we are telling the HVAC system to perform according to these schedules. Thus, on providing the detailed value of these schedules gives us better accuracy in terms of design results. So, to define schedule, we go to this option and just double click on schedule. On doing so, a window pops up. Here you can see there are three options available, the schedule type, the hourly profiles and assignments. First we'll understand about schedule type. This is the schedule name to be given. The schedule name can be given anything like people, lighting, equipment, fan and so on. We'll do this later. First of all, let us understand the schedule type. The schedule type can be fractional or it can be binary like fan or utility rate. The fractional value means the number of people present in any conditioned space can vary between 0 to 100 percent. Also the lights and equipments used, some of them might be working at given point of time and some are not. So these are the parameters which can have value from 0 to 100 percent. On the other hand, the schedule for fan or utility rate is defined in a binary manner. The fan can be switched on or it can be switched off. So based on that, we'll define these values later on. So let's go ahead and create a schedule for people. So first we need to name it. Let's say the schedule for people. Then you need to go to the hourly profiles. Over here, you can see the profile name. And these are some of the sample profiles given. You need to select any one of these and just name it. For example, we are creating the profile for people working in an office space. So the office could be having a working day or a non-working day, which is a holiday. So on working day, we'll create a profile. To maximize it, you can click this tab. Now over here, you can see the values 0, 1, 2. So this 0 over here says the midnight, that's 12 a.m. And at the end, it's 23, which means 11 p.m. If we are selecting any of these value, let's say 0, 5. This means this is the load requirement from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. If we select any other value, let's say this 10. So this tells us the timing is from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. and so on. On the right hand side, you can see the percentage occupancy, which can range from anywhere between 0 to 100 percent. So how to define the hourly profiles? Suppose we are defining the people profile for an office space. So for office space, there won't be any people present from midnight to let's say 8 a.m. So from midnight to 8 a.m. we have to select values from 0 to 7 because 7 over here means from 7 to 8. So from 0 to 7 there won't be any people present. After that there might be few people coming between 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock. So we'll select the value 8. This means from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. there might be few people coming let's say 20 percent or 30 percent. After that from 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock which means this value 16. 16 means 4 p.m. So 4 p.m. if you are selecting this means we are selecting from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. So selecting the value from 9 to 16 and we say that the occupant density is 100% that all the people are present during this time. It is also possible that few of the people are not present during the lunch hour. So we can select the value accordingly. Let's say from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. which is this value 13. So from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. few of the people are having lunch outside. 
so let's say the occupant density in the conditioned space has been reduced to 25% and after that till 5 pm we have already substituted the value now after 5 pm there may be few people present in the office due to extra work or maybe they are doing overtime for let's say couple of hours more so we can select the value of profile till 7 pm so 7 pm means this value 18 which means 6 pm so if I'm selecting this value, this means from 6 to 7. So from 5 p.m. till 7 p.m., few of the people are staying in the office. So we'll select from 17 to 19. Suppose during this time, number of people present is 20. So actually we have defined the values from 5 to 6, 6 to 7 and 7 to 8. Till 8 p.m. we have defined all the values. After 8 p.m., the number of people remaining in the office is 0. So from 20 to 23, we can consider that the number of people present in the office as 0. So this is how the schedule for people will look like on any working day. Once we have defined it, we'll just minimize it. Next, there can also be a different kind of profiles for people, maybe on a holiday. So on a holiday, there won't be any people present in the office. So the occupant density we can take from 0, that's midnight, to 11 p.m. The number of people present is 0%. So this is how we have defined the hourly profile for people on a non-working day. We'll minimize this now. So these are the two different types of hourly profiles defined for people. Now we need to assign these values. To assign values, over here there are different months given from January to December and the days are given from Monday to Sunday along with holiday. So we need to assign different types of hourly profiles of people on each day of the year. The system that we are designing, let's take this to be a working day. So Monday, which is the working day, this is the working day. So the hourly profile for people can be assigned as this because this is a working day. Simply click it and this will assign the values. You can also select the row and type the number. This way the value will be assigned. You also have to assign the values for Tuesday because this will also be a working day and same for Wednesday, Thursday and so on. We can do this by other way. Just simply click and drag till Saturday and click on the working day profile. This will assign the working day from Monday to Saturday. Sunday is going to be holiday. So on this day, we'll assign a different kind of profile for people, which is holiday. Now over here, another option for holiday is given because there can be other types of holidays, which are not the weekend, any other national day or any other day where maybe few people are present in the office. So accordingly, a different kind of profile has to be assigned to this section. But for this time, we are just assuming the holiday profile to be same as this one. Now that we have assigned all the types of different hourly profile for people on each day for the full year, we now click OK. So this is how we can create a schedule for people. In the same way, we can also create a schedule for lights. It is possible that the lights that are working on the conditioned space is having same schedule as that of people. But it is also possible that the functioning of light may be different from the schedule of people. So we can go ahead and define a separate profile for lights. Again, click this. And here we'll name it to the lighting profile. This will also have fractional values. So we'll select this option. Next, go on to hourly profiles. So let's say there may be a working day. So on any working day, from midnight to 8 a.m., there is no light used. So to select 8 a.m., we need to select the value from 0 till 7, because 7 means from 7 to 8. So here we'll mention 0 to 7, and this is taken as 0. So no light is working from midnight till 8 a.m. 
Now after 8 a.m. some light will be used. So let's say between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. So we can select 8 which means between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. Maybe the number of lights working is 50%. After that people will occupy the space in the office from 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. So we need to select 100% lighting load from 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. So till 5 p.m. means from 9 till 16. Now we go here and type the corresponding values and the load will be 100%. After that there may be few people staying in the office for like some hours more. So we can select from 17 to 19 that's till 8 p.m. And taking the value let's say 50% lighting is required till this time. After that we need to define the profile for later hours. So we can select from 20 to 23 no lighting is used. We'll select the value of 0 here. Now we have defined the lighting hourly profiles on any working day. Now we'll minimize this. Next we'll select another profile on any holiday. And then we'll define the hourly profiles on a holiday for lighting. Also we'll maximize this and now on any holiday let's say the office is closed and no occupant is present. So we can take the value of lighting hourly profiles to be 0. So we'll just type here 0 to 23 and 0. So no lighting is used on the day of holiday. Now we'll minimize this. So we have created two different profiles for lighting on a working day and on holiday. Now it's time to assign these lighting profiles for each day throughout the year. Let's go to assignment and over here assign the working day from Monday till Saturday we'll assign the working day lighting profile and on Sundays we'll assign the profile of holiday and on this section also we'll assign the same profile. Now that we have assigned all the values of lighting profiles we'll click OK and now we have the schedule for lighting. Now let's go on and create a binary schedule. Let's say we are defining schedule for a fan. Then go on to hourly profiles and select working day. Now we'll define these profiles. Over here you see it's not from 0% to 100%. It's simply unoccupied 0 or occupied 100. And these are the different hours of the day. So let's say from 0 till 8 am which is 0 to 7 there is no work of any HVAC system. So we'll just take from 0 to 7 it's unoccupied just type U. So it will take unoccupied. So the fan is off during these hours it's not functioning at all. From 8 am till 8 pm we'll select that the fan is in on condition. So 8 p.m. means till 19. So from 8 to 19 the system is occupied and the fan is on. After that from 20 to 23 it's again unoccupied. So we'll feed those values. It's unoccupied. So this is how we have defined the fan profile for any working day. Let's go on and minimize this. We'll define another profile for a holiday. Now for holiday we have assumed that the office remains closed and there is no work being done. So for all the hours we can take the value to be unoccupied. So we can type from 0 to 23 the office remains unoccupied and minimize this. Now we have defined two different profiles for fan 
let's go to assignment and from monday till saturday we'll select as working day and for remaining days we'll select the holiday profile so we have assigned the fan profile for each day throughout the year let's click ok and proceed so this is how we have created all the schedules for lighting people and fan now you can save this so this is how we create schedules for different parameters for hvac system hope you have enjoyed the lecture thank you and hope to see you back soon Thank you.